Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I have another shopping video for you. This is at Schiphol Airport. This isn't the duty-free part of the airport. This is just like the shops outside, you know, for the general public. I was here to pick up my mom uh, who's coming to visit and she was delayed. So I had a little time and went to the perfume store and decided to just show their selection basically. So obviously this is a voiceover. There was a lot of noise, announcements, music in the background that um, kind of was drowning my voice out. So that's why I'm doing it this way. But anyways, I was just showing their uh, the sale that they were having, 29 euros for uh, this selection here. So they had DKNY, IC Escada, Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty, Bulgari. Um, those are the women's ones. And then these are the men's ones. Lotus Hay Pour Homme Intense. One of my favorites, CK1, which is unisex, of course. Lacoste Essential. It's been a while since I've smelled it, but I actually really enjoyed it when I did. It's like a tomato leaf, uh, green, grassy kind of scent. So these are new releases, DKNY Be Delicious. Uh, that first one was the Lime Mojito. This one was um, Mai Tai. This is called Bay Breeze, I believe. I tried the Lime Mojito. It was pretty good. Like a creamy, lemony, limey kind of scent. Uh, didn't last very long on my skin because I, I actually did test that one out. So, in Jardin Sur Lanil, one of my favorites from the Art Hermes line. Then we have the newest flanker of light blue, which is called Sun. I've tried that one in the store. I can mention it later on when I get back to it probably. So... Those were the new releases. Oh, there's some more new releases back here. Um, the new Bronze Goddess. I didn't get to try that one. Then there's some Michael Kors, Sky Blossom. The one back there is CK1 Summer. A new one for women, Eternity Summer. I really like the original Eternity. Um, but I haven't paid a lot of attention to their flankers, unfortunately. So those uh, Issey Miyake perfumes are also new releases. And then we're coming around the corner to start with, you know, the, the non-new perfumes. Uh, so we have Gucci up there. We have the line of Gucci Bloom. My favorite being the original. I also really like this one here, the Gucci Guilty um, Pour Femme. Really nice uh, citrusy, floral, creamy scent. And then there's the newest flanker of Burberry Her. That's Blue Burberry Her Blossom, which I have made a quick first impressions video on. I actually enjoyed it, from at least from my first impressions. Oh, okay, so we have Good Girl and some of the flankers. I believe the one on the right is Eau de Parfum Legere. And then we have this really cute <laughs> polka dot pump. That one is called Drama, oh, Dot Drama. And then the original Good Girl, which was just released here in Holland um, quite recently, like last month or something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You could probably hurt someone with that bottle, with that heel, for sure. So, what else? Okay, so we have some Kenzo perfumes. Kenzo World, this is a new release from Scotch and Soda. I have a sample of that. I'll probably do like a sampling new release perfume video um, when I get a chance to. But they also came up with the men's version of that. And then there's Bulgari, I see. The green tea. <clears throat> then we have some Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. I love this house. I really, really do. Pure Musk is amazing. 
Fleur Musk is amazing. I also like the, the black bottle. Of course, I like the, the low version. Sorry, that was the mailman. <laughs> um, so Givenchy Dahlia Divin. The Le Nectar de Parfum is very nice. Ange ou Dimon, and then the Bulgari Goldea series, and some more Bulgari fragrances. Oh, and then they had this new bottle that I've never seen before La Femme Prada Water Splash. I'm gonna assume that's probably like a cologne version of La Femme. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. But uh, there's the other flankers, and there's Miami Blossom, this year's summer's release. Well, it was released uh, in the spring, actually. Very pleasant. Okay, so there's the Dolce & Gabbana Sun again, and I think I will be testing it. Yes. So this version, this version is not even available in regular stores in Holland yet, but at the airport. There were other ones that uh, that they are available. Sorry. <laughs> so from what I remember testing this, it was more like a creamy, coconutty, almost giving me a suntan lotion kind of feeling. I do sense like a creamy lemon in there as well that I do get in the original light blue. I enjoyed it a lot, but I would say that my favorite flanker of light blue is still the Italian zest. I've been wearing that a lot lately. So now we have Black Opium, all of the flankers, and Mon Petit by YSL, and all of the flankers. I gotta say that I find this line in particular quite disappointing, or at least underwhelming for me. I didn't like the original one, and then every single one that I've tried afterwards have not really done anything for me. <laughs> uh, so there's some more YSL. And then we have J'adore by Dior and many of its flankers. Uh, J'adore Enjoy. There's an Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum. And um, there's an oil version as well. The Lore, I believe it's called. And then Miss Dior also with many flankers like the absolutely blooming and um, blooming bouquet and then we have one of the most beautiful lines ever released in my opinion the poison line um, everything that i've tried from this line has been really really interesting uh, very nice um, my favorite being hypnotic poison for sure and now we have some more Dior perfumes. And moving on to Guerlain or Guerlain, some of the newer releases from the Aqua Allegoria line. I see Cherry, uh, Flora Charisia, Coconut Fizz. My favorite probably from Aqua Allegoria is that one, the Mandarin Basilic. And then I see Para Granita there as well, which is one that I also enjoy a lot. Then we have Mon Guerlain uh, and all of its flankers with the same bottle. Uh, my favorite is that one, the Eau de Parfum, but unfortunately I'm allergic to it. My skin does react to it and I can't wear it, but I do think it's a beautiful fragrance. So we have Versace here and some Marc Jacobs, Daisies. And more flankers and the newest release there, Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. And then I see some sunshine in there and now, Girl of Now. And some more flankers. <laughs> so my favorite probably from Girl of Now is The Shine. And here I'm talking about uh, this perfume Elisab in white Le Parfum. I have reviewed that a long, long time ago, but decided I didn't like it back then. But then I've been testing it a little bit here and there since then. And because my tastes have been changing, uh, I actually do like it now. <laughs> so here we have some Chanel perfumes. And I'll probably 
cut the video off here and set it up for part two just so that it's not too long so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i'll be back with more videos soon